I went to college at RPI, which was where the company's two founders attended school, where the company was birthed. And it was there that I met one of my good friends who currently works here as an engineer. When I took a look at the website, it became pretty clear to me that it was an exciting place to work. So I wasted no time applying. PTP is the pre-treatment plant. We mass produce the mushroom material that gets turned into the bacon or the leather or anything else. My role as the production operator is basically to ensure that the day-to-day -day maintenance of the plant is being taken care of when the plant is actually running. It's my job to work at one of the machine stations and run it basically, ensure that nothing is going wrong. It's a balance between producing the material that we have to produce to kind of keep Ecovative alive and well, but also trying to figure out the best way to grow exponentially because that's where the company's projected to be. So yeah, it starts off in two giant silos outside the plant. Pellets get fed up into a giant pasteurizer. The pasteurizer heats them up. After it's heated up, it's cooled down to an appropriate temperature. Then the inoculum goes in and it gets bagged up and then it'll typically undergo a quality inspection and the, the material that passes gets sent directly to the farm where they turn it into slabs for bacon. It's a great team and I, it's one of my favorite parts of the job is coming in and, and working with, with my team. I, I still remember learning about how things like break down. It was some like mad science like birthday party and the scientist was telling us about how styrofoam just doesn't break down. I, I remember like the cafeteria that, that I was in when I learned this fact and, and I just, I was like, wow, it really just doesn't break down, does it? It doesn't decompose or anything. That has stuck with me to this very day. When I first was researching Ecovative and I found out that styrofoam replacement was the first material that they worked on, it just brought an actual smile to my face. I was like, okay, like these are people who want to fix the same problems that I want to fix. And somehow, some way I'm going to, to try to become a part of it all. It's just cool to, to work at a place where I know that everyone kind of has that sort of goal. There's no shortage of, of motivation, it seems. 